Hello ladies and gentlemen, Devin from Decon here, and this is the MX Vertical Mouse from Logitech. Vertical Mice have been around for a while now, but this is the first one Logitech has ever made. Logitech is known for making very nice, high quality peripherals at an affordable price, and their MX line is, for lack of a better term, their flagship line, and it usually comes at a higher cost. At that higher cost, you're usually gaining better features, a built-in battery, a unique or premium design, and overall, the craftsmanship is just better. And this mouse is no different. Overall, the body is composed from a plastic polymer, allowing it to be equal parts durable and light, as it comes in at around 135 grams. The portion of the mouse where your hand rests on and interfaces with has this nice texturized rubber coating, which allows for improved grip. It also allows the overall end user experience to be that much more comfortable. The MX Vertical Mouse has six buttons in total, four of which are customizable via Logitech's desktop application. Along the right edge is our standard left and right buttons, and in between is our scroll wheel. The scroll wheel is depressible, customizable, and has that same rubber coating as the rest of the mouse. It is buttery smooth, has a subtle click, and feels oh so good when you turn it. Along the left edge, there's two more customizable buttons. These are just above where your thumb lies and are easy to reach even if you have smaller hands. Along the top edge, adjacent to our Logitech branding, is our last customizable button. This is also easily within reach and comes set up as a DPI adjuster out of the box. This button allows you to toggle between two different DPI settings, both of which can be adjusted by holding down the button and moving the mouse. The DPI range on this mouse is very impressive and covers those 400 dots per inch or reach a maximum of 4000 dots per inch. This is helpful for a few reasons. Firstly, the greater the DPI you can achieve, the more area you can cover when moving your mouse. This is convenient when using a larger monitor such as an ultra wide or when using a 4K monitor as you can cover more pixels with less movement. And less movement feeds into the main ideology of this mouse. A higher DPI setting allows for less movement which is less strain on your wrist, resulting in a more comfortable experience. This is why this mouse exists, to minimize strain on your wrist and increase the overall comfort. It does this by allowing for a higher DPI range, but also by altering the way your hand rests on the mouse. The average mouse orients your hand parallel to the surface. This causes stress on a major muscle on your wrist, the pronator quadratus. This muscle is responsible for turning your wrist inward and maintaining that pronated position. Not only does this apply stress to your wrist, but in order to maintain this position, your elbow is forced to flare away from your body. This causes a secondary strain in your deltoid, which further causes a tertiary strain in the muscles in your upper back. In order to relieve this strain, Logitech has reoriented the way your hand rests on the mouse. Rather than being parallel with the surface, the MX Vertical Mouse is oriented at a 57 degree angle. This is a more natural position for your wrist to be in and reduces strain greatly. Not only does this reduce strain on your wrist, but it also allows for better posture. Your elbow is now tucked closer into your body, allowing your deltoid to relax, further preventing it from causing strain on your upper back. In terms of connecting the MX Vertical Mouse, you have three options. You can connect wirelessly via Bluetooth, or with this included USB dongle. Or lastly, you can hardwire in with the included USB Type-C cable. The USB Type-C port also allows for charging. The mouse has a built-in 240mAh battery, and Logitech claims you can get 4 months of use on a single charge. And I actually think this is accurate. Over the 35 days I have owned this mouse, I have used it roughly 2-6 to six hours on a given day, and in total I've put around 80 hours on the first charge. And according to Logitech's applications, the battery is still full. Only time will tell if it will survive 3 more months without having to recharge, but as of now, the battery life is excellent. The MX Vertical Mouse is also capable of connecting up to 3 devices, as it has an easy switch selector on the bottom. This is nice if you want to use this mouse across multiple computers, and it switches effortlessly whether you're on PC or Mac. Overall, this mouse is great. It sets out to provide a more comfortable, ergonomic experience, all while minimizing the strain in your wrist. And I have to be honest, I was skeptical of whether or not this mouse would actually achieve that goal. I mean, I've never experienced any wrist issues myself. Would I actually benefit from using this mouse? The answer is a resounding yes. After just over a month of use, I can confidently say this mouse provides a more comfortable experience, and it makes you more aware that a traditional mouse is actually causing strain to your wrist, 
and it's reinforcing bad posture. Just transitioning from the MX vertical mouse to my keyboard, I can feel a drastic difference in comfort within my wrist. It immediately becomes strained when typing, and relief is found when I return back to the MX vertical mouse, and positioning of the hand has everything to do with that. If you have any wrist or arthritic issues, definitely give this mouse a look. It may just provide the relief you need. I know I won't be going away from mine anytime soon. Well, that's gonna wrap up this video. I hope you found it useful. If you did, please send me your likes. If you enjoy my content, send me your subs. And as always, thank you for stopping by. I'll see you next time.